we have a chorus of opposition against these Rwandan plans. Um, indeed, the most recent thing is a letter that was signed by 20 high-profile celebrity uh, people sent to the Commonwealth leaders saying that um, the Rwanda plan demonstrates the colonial view of Africa as a dumping ground. How is that kind of language going down in Rwanda? Well, uh, that's, that's one of the, the worst... Uh words I've had describing this UK Rwanda plan, because it demonstrates how uh, some of these people view Rwanda as, as a country. And as uh, the way Prime Minister Boris Johnson uh, described uh, when he was here recently, uh, he said people who see Rwanda as a negative, uh, see Rwanda as the worst country, uh, they, they, are best, they are basing their, their views on stereotypes, on outdated stereotypes. That's what Boris Johnson said. So I think that was wrong uh, to say. It's better to account that he's trying to, to help re immigrants. And uh, uh, at the same time, you can describe a country that is trying to save people and, 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 describe, uh, and describe it as a country that is worse and shouldn't be saving people. So I think that was wrong. Yeah. I mean, I mean, the government is getting, what, I think at least about 120 million out of the British government for this plan. And what, as I understand it, Rwanda have said is that they will take single men only. I'm just wondering, I mean, the government clearly are very happy to go ahead with this. But how do ordinary members of the public in Rwanda feel about knowing that they're going to have a lot of immigrants who are being sent there because they were illegal as far as Britain is concerned, and they're being sent there against their will? I think uh, it's not the first time Rwanda uh, receiving uh, immigrants or refugees. I think uh, currently Rwanda is hosting almost uh, 100,000 of refugees that come from different countries, DRC, Burundi, they have been here for years. Uh, we even have um, uh, immigrants that came from Libya, and these, these are the people who are being slaved in, in, in Libya. Some were being in, uh, thrown in jails, uh, some were being trafficked. Uh, so, and then at the time, I think it was 2018, that's when Rwanda said, you know what? Instead of having people who are dying in jail, who are being slaved in, in, in Libya, we can give them uh, a place to, 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 to stay when, when they're being processed. And that's what they did. So the country received uh, migrants from Libya. They're here. They, 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 some have even got processed and they have left to, to, to some countries in Europe. But they are safe. They have food. They have uh, clean water. They're not being uh, thrown to jail. They're given uh, health care. They're being taught the language. So they're trying to live a normal life like 